For the last nine years, the Mission Hope Cancer Center in Santa Maria has brought the community together for Day of Hope, and this year is no different. Our Vivian Rennie has a look at what this year will bring. Thanks, Chanel. Tomorrow morning, teams will scatter all across the Santa Maria area to sell special edition newspapers to fundraise for the center. But this event is not just about the fundraising. It's also to honor and remember all of those who have faced cancer. Without a strong um, support team, um, I would never be able to get through it. For patients and families facing cancer at the Mission Hope Cancer Center in Santa Maria, the toll of treatments is emotional and financial. But for one day a year, the community gathers around to ease some of that burden. Day of Hope is hands down an inspirational day where our entire community rallies behind cancer patients. Of course, the primary goal is for them to be making donations and support the program. But Day of Hope stands for a lot more than that. It stands for a community-wide day of where we are honoring our community's cancer patients. Fundraising teams head to street corners from Arroyo Grande to Orchid, selling special edition Santa Maria Times newspapers for $1, but many choose to give more. Community members who are participating and supporting the event, they're not just giving a dollar, they're giving $5, $20, $10, and we're getting some $100 bills here and there, so it's really amazing. The funds go to patients in need through support groups, assistance funds, and other Mission Hope needs. Many of the fundraising teams have been affected firsthand. I started right after um, I lost my father. My dad was diagnosed uh, April 2018 and passed September 30th, 2018. So it was kind of a quick um, journey, but the people at Mission Hope made it you know, I don't know if I even cried there. They just were so welcoming and so helpful. Um, whether it was them trying to get gift cards for medication coverage um, or them even sending my parents um, money to pay part of their mortgage, they were just amazing there. Team Papa Strong fundraises to continue her father's legacy. I mean, I do it to keep his memory alive, um, to keep his name out there, um, to hopefully raise funds, you know, more than I did previously um, or in previous years. Um, I don't know. It's just been a huge part of us the last four years. Um, and I don't see it stopping will be selling newspapers from 7 a.m. to noon before the car parade kicks off its route from the fair park to the Mission Hope Cancer Center. For more information on the event and how to donate, you can look for the story on KSBY.com just a little bit later on this morning. And yeah. it's definitely going to be an amazing day. Talking to some of the families and the fundraisers who are going to be out there, it is going to be a truly inspirational day. Well, it truly doesn't matter who you are. You've been affected by someone you know having cancer, and this is just a great way to support that. Cause. And an easy way to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Heading out there, getting a Santa Maria Times. It's a special edition with all that Day of Hope, all the different different stories that they've gotten there. So it's going to be not only a really good day to get out there and help, but it's also going to be a really fantastic day, at least weather.